Hi, and welcome back to My Own Utopia. And today, I get to show you guys Crochet World Magazine. I am so excited to show this to you. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and get into semantics. Please hit the like button. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell and all for notifications of my videos into the future. If you want to follow me on social media, I am on Facebook group and I'm on Instagram. Check me out down below. I have a 300 subscriber giveaway going on as well. I will have that linked up above and linked down below as well. Please go check it out. Do not miss this wonderful giveaway that I am doing for all of my wonderful subscribers that is going, that is coming here to my utopians. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I am excited. Fall is here. <laughs> I can't say, but anyways, I'm really excited for this one. So it is the Crochet World 29 projects that will help you jump into fall. Yeah, I should not be jumping. <laughs> For October 2021. Yeah, we're not in October, but it's out. And I'm excited. <gasps> Look at these two adorable little things. They are so cute. Here, I'm going to be working on my bag soon for my boys. Ooh. All right. So we have the button napkin rings. It is so pretty. I think what's more pretty is the actual bloody buttons. <clears throat> now that's pretty. And we have the coasters, because I cannot pronounce that Al Boars Post Coasters Posters Coasters. Woo -hoo -hoo. Now that's pretty. I really do like that. Now this I want to do Fall Frolic. Pendant. So it has the cute little leaf, a ghost, a turkey, a pumpkin, and an acorn. It goes through all the holidays. I love that, except for Christmas. So <clears throat> I can make it now, and yet it can still go through fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween. So I can go through three different uh, sections before we go into Christmas. I really like that. The twirling motif, motif, motifs, motifs, doily. Yeah, me. <laughs> now that is so pretty. Oh, I can get lost in that. I can so get lost in that. The Rosie City Headband. So yeah, they're getting ready for the cold weather. I wish we get cold weather. Now I saw this and I was like, oh, that looks very, very simple and easy to make. I might do it. We got a Heidi Scarflet. I really like the stitch. And then we have a wrap and very fuzzy, very fuzzy yarn <laughs> and very light. Stretch. 
Strength and Hope Shaw. Oh, I actually like that name. The way that they came up with it. Now it's really pretty at the bottom. It looks like everything else is completely simple and easy to just fly through. And then they throw the bottom part in as a pop. I love it. And it's very lightweight. It looks like they used a, yep, a lightweight number three type of yarn. Oh, cables! Do cross set. They have a cable set in here. So they have a hat and a cowl set. And it looks like it's very, very simple. I love it. And this one was used a number four medium weight. Ooh, here I have four weight coming in now that I can dye. That's another thing I'm about to start doing is I'm going to dye and I'm going to try to video I'm gonna videotape. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm going to just use it. I'm going to videotape it. The process of dyeing the uh, yarn and everything and then what I make it into. Be happy ta uh, table runner. Oh, support the bees. I so believe in supporting the bees. Look at that detail work. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. Now, I really love this. The pumpkin patch wall hanging. Oh, I love this. It is so cute. Look at the bats on the top with the moon. Oh, they did such a fabulous job. So makes me want to jump into fall. Yep, mm -hmm. especially this one. The Autumn Trio. Look at this. How gorgeous. so pretty. I can also see you make that, I can see someone making that bowl, or at least me making that bowl, and then widening it so it can actually fit around one of my casserole dishes. Do it 100% cotton. Ooh, that would be really pretty. Or my acorn, or my pecans that are outside on my pecan tree. Can definitely go into there. While I'm sitting there cracking and trying to get them. <laughs> I am so excited. If I have time, I might actually take a picture of my pecans and put them up on here. I am so excited about that. This is our first year actually feeding the tree, finding the tree, and establishing it so we can get the big, juicy, awesome pecans. I want to keep this pecan tree for years to come. Maple Leaves Afghan. Look at the pumpkins. Oh, I love this blanket. Oh, I love the stitch. I need to see if I can do this stitch and just incorporate it. But yeah, I'm excited. I've already got plans for my pecans. And then I've already started talking to the boys about what's going to be our next um, tree that we're going to be putting out there. They're asking for an apple tree. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. Look at these pumpkins. Oh, look at the flower on top. Oh, I love it. That is so cute. Oh. Now this I really, really like. Pass the Salt Deer. D-E-E-R. How cute. Oh, I love it. It's just... Those hunters. It's absolutely perfect. Perfect. 
Okay, this is going to be difficult to show, but it's the Festive Pumpkin Garland. So let's see if we can get it. So it's different colors of the pumpkin. Yeah, like I said, it's difficult to show. <laughs> Fall Festive Coasters. That looks like a very simple pattern. Country Sampler Pillow. It's not that many stitches, actually, to tell you the truth. Autumn Comfort Throw. Trying to get the glare. The glare doesn't want to run away. There you go. I'm waiting for the mailman. Celebrate Autumn Placemat. Now, to me, this screams Halloween. The colors this person chose to make screams Halloween. I love it. Because I believe that you can also take the same exact pattern, change up the colors, and do Christmas, and fall, and Thanksgiving. Uh, another blanket. Sorry, I'm not going to pronounce each one of these. I have a funny feeling my dyslexia is like it full blown right now. love this pillow the um strippled pumpkin pillow I love it now this I would love to make but instead of doing a flower that's pinkish or whatever the actual pumpkin flower is white so I would do white Wow, that sounded really country. I would do white. Yeah, I would. Um, fall forest nesting bowls. Oh, how adorable. Look at the little bear and the raccoon and the fox. Oh my goodness. So adorable. So cute. Now, I know I can make these, and I would not be able to put them up anywhere. My boys would snatch them and use them for themselves. <laughs> um, oh, I think that was the last one. Yes. So, there was... Okay, so they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 patterns. And I mean, a lot of them, this is an overview. A lot of them I would so do. Pull it back. Here we go. So this is a recap. Then, oh, the little baskets. Yeah. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope everyone's getting excited as much as I am for fall and the holidays that's coming up. Like I said in my last video that I posted on Wednesday. Or I will be posting on Wednesday. Because I'm doing this back-to-back -back videos. <laughs> um... The holiday season is extremely hard and everything else like that. And if, if you want a friendly, loving card to be shipped to you, it doesn't matter if you're in the United States or outside of the United States, please go to my email. I'll be very, very happy to send you a card to just show you that someone actually cares. Because believe me, I care. Um, so go ahead, head on over there. 
if you're wanting to get um, cards or anything else like that, sending cards outside of the United States is not that expensive compared to packaging. Oh, packaging is so outrageous. So if you're wanting to send me cards as well or anything else like that, my birthday is in uh, the end of September, September 29th. Go ahead, uh, send them to me. My P.O. box is down below as well. I've been having some emails of individuals asking me what was my email address so they can start sending me um, cards for the holidays that's coming up. I know everyone's getting prepped and ready to go. So everything will be linked down below. And until next time, I hope everyone has a wonderful and safe day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, you guys.